Hey guys, today we're here with Zara, a fellow artist and yeah. neighbor. Uh, we both were in an art studio in the same floor mm -hmm. um, in downtown New City, Art 150. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here today, Zara. It's a pleasure to have you here. And finally, we meet each other. Yeah, I know. It's I also, kind of wild. After almost like two years, a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I followed you because I saw you were like in the mailing list or whatever, where we get our emails. But I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen her. I wonder, I does she I exist? See. I see her I posting do. stuff. I'm a I <laughs> yeah. in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that, I love like late night work. So thank you so much for being here. So Thanks tell us a little bit about me. yourself. Uh, I don't know. Um, really, a uh, daytime job as an architect. So oh, wow. Yeah, no so the art, the art thing is like kind of a passion project that started out like wow. 2020 and, you know, really kind of starting to paint. Yeah. For real, uh, in my apartment. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, I dream was to be an architect, but I'm so bad at math and other stuff. I think but that's, that's like so a common cool like. I mean, you. it's good to be good at math. Yeah, but I don't have to be good at math. Wow. <laughs> to be an architect. I so I can believe like wow, like yeah, an architect and an artist. That's so cool. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny because your work has so many like. How you pronounce it? Geometrical? Geometrical yeah. shapes and lines. So that explains so much. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's so cool. I like I like to think of it as like controlled chaos. That's really you cool. Know? Yeah, and I love when you do like the drips too. Yeah, I love like, your time left. Make sure, let's plug in your Instagram, okay, please. Okay, yes, yeah. What's your Instagram? It's uh, at Zara Paints and it's T-Z-A-R-A. T-Z, yeah, so T. Yeah. Silent. <laughs> yeah, silent. Yes. <laughs> because I remember when I first time it was like the Zara. To Zara. To Zara. A lot of, yeah. a lot do a lot of people say that? A lot of people say that. Oh my gosh. And I don't really correct them either. Yeah. Because I would like, Whatever, say it however yeah, you want. Yeah, me then, too. Like, I just got the, like people say Tarek, Tyreek, Tyreek. I'm like, you know what? At this point, whatever. As long as you know who I am and my name, you remember me. It's yeah. all good. I can't even stress about it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So tell me a little bit about your creative like process. Well, you know, um, it's funny because you know I I started I painted when I was younger and then I kind of stopped when I was like kind of going through my schooling and training, uh, and then I bought these like three blank canvases and I hung them on a wall and I had them on a wall for like in my apartment for like two and a half years. Oh wow. And, and they like, were blank? They were blank. Oh and wow. I had, like, and I have this weird thing. I'll hang up something that's blank and yeah. then think about it for like forever. Oh that's pretty cool. Um, and for me it was more about like figuring out like my process right because I was like I don't really want to like be a foremost painter. I know I want to paint. Yeah. I don't want to do acrylics but I have to like get to a point where it, you know I, it kind of wants to look like watercolor but it also kind of wants to look like you know, uh, I don't know, just like something super gestural and like yeah. an abstract, uh, and and so yeah, those three canvases sat on my wall for like That's yeah, so cool. a year and a half, two years, and then like you know, right, it's just funny, like literally right before the shutdown, yeah, or like the COVID shutdown. Oh, that's when you started. It was like like two weeks before. Oh it was gosh. when I was like, you know what, I think I have this process, and I started kind of like working on like thinning down my paint, kind of just doing like layers and layers of drippings and then noticing like how the paint bleeds into it, like, wow. uh, you know, while it's still wet and then like when it's in the process of drying, how it does a different, you know, like how, how yeah. it, like how it translates differently and, you know, uh, and so I kind of just really experimented on that like first set of paintings, this triptych that oh, wow. I don't think I've even posted on my Instagram. That's such a cool story. Um, but yeah, like the process in and of itself is really more just an exploration. So like that kind of started and kind of has carried me through the past two years oh, working wow. on the art. So like during COVID, that's when you got like the studio and try to like separate. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I started kind of painting like yeah. my, my. Like, Did you use like the kitchen table like everybody no, does? No, no, <laughs> I actually, I had like a, a small office okay. in, in the apartment and that doubled as my studio for like the first year. Oh, that's perfect. And then when Art 150 kind of like, when I read about it and yeah. figured it out, like. When did you join? Like, they opened in like February of 2021 and that's when I basically oh, wow. moved. So I moved in like right as, as the, as the studio opened. And apparently I was like one of, yeah, like the last people, people have been waiting for that space really? for years. And I, Cause some people told me it opened like 2018, like no. winter 2018. I mean, there are like the artist studios, mm -hmm. like on the upper levels, like the, no, the like live on work the second studios. floor, but it, it was no walls. It was like, oh, it was walls, but it was very generic, kind of like a, like a I don't know, like space. a, 
Kind of, yeah. So, I think it was yeah. a storage space. Some people space. say 2021, and then some people say 2018. So okay, maybe. so maybe maybe some of the groups have been it was like for a, a while. Yeah. Art, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I moved into 21, and that's like when like the the studio we yeah. know. Oh wow! Uh, was like the premiere. Yeah, yeah. Was uh was there? And yeah, oh, wow, so I kind of so got cool. in pretty early, which is great. And uh, yeah, I don't know, like. It was more the fact that I was just running out of space in my little office <laughs> at home, and, and I, I wanted to, to paint. What was that feeling when you transferred all your supplies and paintings to your I art how much studio? Shit you have right, and then you realize <laughs> how much space now you have. You're like, wow. But now I'm just like filling my studio yeah. space with like random things that I'm finding on oh the street, being like, oh, I can paint this. Yeah. This will be cool. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, no, like uh, you, you kind of recognize like. Okay, but it's also allowed me to have like way more supplies. Yeah, I get more ideas and start like be more experimental. Yeah, and stuff. ten times more experimental because oh I have amazing. more space. And do you prefer to work like in the daytime or the nighttime? I work whenever I have spare time. Yeah, it's really about spare time. It's oh, not wow. necessarily like it's not like that time. It's just like anytime is a time. Anytime, oh, yeah. Wow. Like if I have time and energy, I'm like, okay, I'll, I can get yeah. down to the studio. I'll, I'll get down there. And like sometimes it's like an hour and I'm laying on the concrete floor just mm -hmm. looking at something on the yeah. wall because I paint on the wall for the most part oh, wow. uh, or you know I'm there for like eight hours and really wait so because I've seen your videos on Instagram yeah. Zara paints right yes plug in um, <laughs> but like I noticed you like um, depending on what I'm painting like I either put on my leg because I'd like to feel like that you know what do you say? Like, what's that? Sorry, like my brain is like. Well, just like have that genuine artistic experience where you mm -hmm. feel the canvas and it becomes like part of my body and we're one. Mm -hmm. If it's like a small, like 12 by 12. But if it's like something larger, then I'll put it like on half the table, half on my legs. So I now start painting it. But I noticed you hang it up, which I, I hang found it that on the very wall. interesting. Yeah. And I found like that creative process, like that engagement you have with the canvas is really, really interesting. Yeah, no, and I think, you know, there's something about having it hung vertically on the wall and I hang it like it's just as I would probably see it, yeah. as I would install it. And that's kind of how I have to think. Although sometimes, you know, there's some pieces that I've, I've been kind of painting on plastic on the floor uh -huh. and I kind of do a transfer yeah. onto the onto the piece. Um, and that's that's unique because I actually don't really know what's going to happen. I can kind of paint something gesturally on that plastic and then kind mm -hmm. of piece it together on the canvas. But it's all pieced together on the wall. Oh, and then know. only a few times is like when I like pull it down and like actually like interact with the piece. Like oh wow, physically. that's so cool. Um, but I don't know, and maybe. That says something about me, but I'm not super sure what it says. I think, I think with your background, like, can you say, how do you use architectural verb, like, ar architecting? <laughs> I don't know. Architecting? <laughs> architecting. Um, oh. But I think with that background, I think I find it so interesting how that transfer and how, like, you know, mirrors into your art, mm -hmm. you know, with the lines, the geometrical shapes, but also your approach, because... I had like friends that were architect and they always hang blueprint up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some of them like either do like that big table where they're like completely facing down or yeah. they hang it up perfectly and they go from there. So I thought, oh wow, now that we're talking to each other, things are making sense, you know, <laughs> that I'm like, oh wow, you know? Yeah, I mean, it could it could be that. I don't know, like I, I think it's just like how, I don't know, I think it's just the fact that I have the wall and the fact that I really like those drippings and I get kind of the quality that I want mm -hmm. from the painting when it's hung vertically yeah. versus even like you know if Slanted, I've done it yeah. yeah like laying down or even on an easel like that that slight angle doesn't yeah. give me exactly what I want yeah um and I feel like I it might be a little bit of yeah I have a little bit more control in in that realm so you can engage it with in a certain yeah. way that you're comfortable with yeah yeah, yeah. I like that and like what's your inspiration like where do you get inspired to Paint. Where did I get inspired to paint in general, or like for? We could, we could go from now. the beginning in general, yeah. Oh, in general, I think. I mean, I started like every kid, like nature, yeah, just like messing around, like whatever. flowers, like that was like a lot of what <laughs> yeah. I painted when I was younger. Yeah. 
you know, every once in a while a self portrait when I was like feeling down, but like, oh. you know, like like a little blue like series. <laughs> or me when you get a spanking from your yeah. parents, you're like, this is my runaway. So like, when I yeah, run away, they're gonna know. Like, All they like... have is this self portrait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, I mean, and and I think I don't know. I was very involved in the arts when I was younger, yeah. and it's just funny. Like I don't know, I kind of stopped all I had to like focus on like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that should be like a new hashtag. That is a great word. But like, did it stop like in <laughs> high school and in college or like right before college? Yeah, like literally right before college. Because yeah. like all my portfolios had art. They like, oh had art, gosh. they had ceramics. Yeah. I did a lot of ceramics oh, wow. in high school. Like, uh. Yeah. Do you ever like think about going back to ceramics? You know, I do. Yeah. And I loved the mess. But I just, the energy and the, the investment kind of scares me a little yeah. bit. Just like the time investment in ceramics is even mm-hmm. more, I don't know, it feels like more demanding yeah. and less portable. Yeah, less spontaneous and free in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. see a lot of people like during COVID, they got into um, ceramics. Yeah. And I thought it was like very relaxed. You go in, you get the wheel, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like so complex. There's so many different things and rules you have to follow. Like, mm-hmm. and you don't have a choice. Like, you either get like a standing piece if you follow this correctly or right. when they like you know fire it up it's crap you know yep. and yeah. i didn't know that i always thought it was like such a magical spontaneous <laughs> you go in create whatever you want i thought it could air dry you know no it definitely is a huge process yeah. and like in high school i i did a lot of like raku ceramics oh, specifically wow. so right that's like, my favorite one yeah i love yeah, it it's but so like pretty. and you could like get lots of different like uh movement and kind of chaos yeah. from, from the glazes and like from what you actually burned with your ceramics so you had to be like really careful about what you put in but yeah. you know uh yeah that's also just like a space yeah. constraint that we don't i don't exactly. have that luxury in, yeah in you have to go to like a specific ceramic studio yeah a rack yeah. specifically like i don't know any yeah i here. feel like even if there is like one it's probably like crazy hours too like yeah nine to six and that's it you know I who knows that kind of time. Yeah, no, but because you're busy architecting. <laughs> and like, do you ever, like, do you ever find yourself like when you're creating like, is it correct to say blueprints and stuff or? I project? mean, yeah, plans. Yeah, plans. Yeah, sorry, plans. that's the word. Do you ever think like, oh my gosh, like this line would be really good, like, in this like size of a painting or with this strip or? Yeah, I yeah. do. Every once in a while, like you know, and it's actually funny. It's like comes from like all oh, like there's coordination drawings and I'm not going to bore you with that but like every once in a while there's like you know it's kind of like a exquisite corpse if you heard that term like no. where like fascinated whatever you say like, like, so we're, so cool. like you know I, you know I draw something and then somebody else to draw something and oh somebody else yeah something I heard about it like, but I didn't know the exact term yeah. yeah so like there's coordination drawings that end up looking like exquisite corpses uh-huh. right like because you know I'm dealing with an engineer yeah. you know a mechanical engineer a structural engineer an acoustical you know there's lots of different people kind of marking up this one set of drawings and like sometimes I get those markups and they're done and they're all layered and they look amazing to mm-hmm. me and I think oh maybe I should like utilize some of this <laughs> I haven't yet yeah. but it's kind of in the back yeah. of my mind and actually just yesterday I was like walking through the studio at work and somebody um, our model maker in the in the firm had like all of these like 3d printed apparatuses i'm not super wow. sure what they are but they're just like little support structures yeah. that he had 3d printed to support the actual thing that was being printed mm-hmm. and like once he separated them out there are these beautiful yeah. little sculptures and i you know i kind of got obsessed with them and i was like well you're giving these to me right yeah, like and he's so like cool. oh they're i was just gonna junk them and i was yeah. like no i'm gonna take them oh my gosh that's so cool so, so they like, were like support beams to go into that they're like they're like prototype? these yeah like really small like support structures just for like while something is 3d printing oh. itself oh like he the would things design that they these like random whatever. things yeah to hold up the thing that's actually being printed oh, so yeah, that it didn't yeah. like fail while it was that's like, so cool so but those look that's gorgeous. so cool that you found the beauty in that oh yeah no i got obsessed with it now that i like Take a trade yeah. Take like, all of those things out of yeah. the office before they throw them away. That's so cool. You could probably leave like a big box there, just like just tell me when I'm, this is full. I'm gonna figure out yeah what to do with it. Exactly. But like, like I said, like I'm 
collect it's better to have a lot it of junk and now. then figure out later, right? right? And not have it and be like, oh, I'm inspired, which is like the worst. Right. Like when yeah. you're creating something beautiful, you're like, oh, I ran out of paint. Great. Right. <laughs> and it's like 11, 1 a.m. You're like, there's no way. Can't get to I can get store. this. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. And also, um, we talked about the creative process mm. and then about the art studio. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself? Like, now that I'm talking to you, I feel like you could probably create, like, something, like, a really cool, like, public art sculpture or something like that. I feel like that this is what I'm saying. Like, right now we're talking about you taking the little pieces of the 3D printing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, in a year or two, you're going to have some type of, like, blueprint or something yeah. for this, like, sick, interactive, like, public art sculpture. 100% That would do be that. so cool with, like, geometrical shapes and 100% want to do that. Oh, my God. But actually, like, you know, like we were talking actually before we started yeah. the show about going to, like, the, the burn. Yeah. Right? Uh, I kind of want to, like, get involved and, like, do something where I'm, like, I don't know what, but, like, oh something gosh. that you can walk yeah, into, like walk through, yeah, yeah. interact That's, like, with. so perfect how you have that and then you have this background. Yeah, I think it would wow. be really fun. So I have to think about it. I'll ruminate on it for a while. But let me what? tell you something. You already you're like ten steps ahead of every artist because you know how to create the prototype with the dimensions and the measurements yeah, that's true. and explain it. That's because true. Because versus like me going to a meeting, I'm like, okay, so it's gonna look like that, and I do like a crazy, like yeah, we just don't see it. But I'll still but, do the crazy sketch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing that nobody can read because exactly. that's just fun well the right person will read it yeah. and it'll just like green light the project yeah. hopefully right um okay so can you tell us about like your oh my gosh i totally forgot my word um not inspiration um influences yes sorry Whoa. there we go See, this is the hard thing because mm -hmm. i don't know if i could like name any specific like artists it could be an architect. Or, oh, like, even that. Like, I mean, like, I can see and I can, you know, mm -hmm. we're kind of like consumers right now, yeah. visual consumers. So, like, what you think is a reference might not really be the reference. Yeah. You know? Um, what do you think of Zara Hadid? She was a really cool architect. Her projects are cool. Yeah. I like the swoops. Yeah. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I love the swoops. The swoops are <laughs> I'm beautiful. Swoop dude. Yeah, <laughs> the swoops are beautiful. Yeah. But like, uh, you know, I, I I have a hard time with thinking that anything is truly original. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, I've been I've been doing a lot of traveling again recently, and I see, like, you know, when you're thinking about, like, even just in America, right? Like, yeah. there's tons of cities. Every city looks the same to me, and I know mm -hmm. that that's like a very, uh, you know, not at it's all. A, it's a it's a it's a statement that, yeah. you know, somebody from Chicago is going to be like, well, Chicago doesn't look like Detroit. Yeah. But yes, it does. Yeah. When and like Miami, kind of like there's parts of Dallas that look like Miami. Yeah. And like, you know, so, you know, so for me, it's kind of like, is anything truly original? And then is my influences, are they really influenced by something else? So that's why I have a oh, hard wow, time like so naming. Yeah influences right because yeah. quite honestly because your influence could be influenced by their influence and you would never know <laughs> so wow. like you know for me i don't know if it's so much about the the influences it's about what i produce as a result of the culmination of mm -hmm. all of that oh, wow. this sounds extremely heady and no that's really cool kind of an annoyed by, but but that's how it. i think right yeah. like so um yeah i i I don't have any specifically, mm -hmm. but I have everything. Oh, wow. That's really deep. Is that weird? No, that's pretty. That makes complete sense. I love that. Like, I have a question. Like, when I look at a painting that's not mine, sure. I'm always, like, intrigued to see the brush strokes, to mm -hmm. see, like, what kind of medium they use. And I always like to try to imagine where do they start, where do they finish, you know what I mean? Try mm -hmm. to get in their, their mindset. With your expertise, like, when you look at a building, like, do you look at it as, like, oh, that's a cute, shiny building? Do you look, like, oh, my God, that's this. And that's the, oh, you know, yeah. they definitely have support beams over here, definitely. this and that. Yeah? I, can, I can walk into a building and, like, yeah, think about, okay, well, either the detailing was incorrect here or mm -hmm. the construction was, you know, like, or, you know, like, yeah, you just, they like, had a really everything. good design concept, but they kind of missed it out. here. Yeah. You know, and, and that's just kind of part of being in, yeah. in, in the field, but, uh. But does me, it ever get turned off, or is it always like subconsciously no, on? I annoy everybody I yeah. meet if I'm in a space that I'm like, oh, I don't like That's this. So you know, cool. like yeah, yeah. I'm an annoying person. But do you like find your brain just like automatically? You just go in somewhere, or you're outside in the street, and you like 
yeah. looking for let's say a restaurant to meet your friends you're like oh that's definitely boom 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 this definitely has a report you know pride elevator is definitely here you know what i mean yeah you think like that i do yeah oh, i always gosh. look for the exits yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. I just hit my feet with the microphone. I know. But that made the it made the funniest like cartoon noise I've ever heard. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. But I always look for the exits. That's like actually the first thing, and that's like just because we live in a really dense city. Oh, I thought you because we live in today time. <laughs> well, that too. But like a well, really like, dense city, and like you know, you never really know if something's up to code or not. Oh my so gosh, constantly. that is interesting. <laughs> I never thought about which it is it's kind of like even worse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, especially like after that Miami fiasco, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that made me like paranoid about being like high rises for like at least like a few months. Because like, you yeah. know, cause, you know, like <laughs> the higher the building, like the wind will shake it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I they was just like, I that. would just taint. And how? I find it so interesting. They're designed for like all the world. And I, I saw something the other day that said like buildings in Japan, they're much better to withstand like natural disasters, Earth earthquake, because of yeah. their foundation yeah, is able to move where there. everywhere else is kind of like, even if they are like on tectonic plate, they kind of would like try to bypass or find a loophole not to worry about it. So when these things happen, and I said like, and my whole, like the whole time they're talking about it, I said, wait, a building can move and stay still? Yes. I thought that was so cool. Cause yeah. like even in the building we're in the right now, like when I'm all the way upstairs. You can feel it, right? I when it's feel super it windy. Move. And then like yeah. when I first moved here, because it's right by, is this like the, river right yeah that's but the cool. ocean leads to it but yeah but anyway yeah. so there's a park and it's like a lot of open space so the wind is like have super a very strong high, yeah and it's like a hype it's like it sounds like an opera singer so and feel move, some yeah. of it some of it might be from the exterior some of it might be from the interior mm. like the pressurization and the elevator shafts and the yeah. stair shafts isn't quite tuned yeah, okay. so that happens also yeah, like so it's I, so windy like in the yeah. emergency stairs yeah oh my gosh that's so interesting like i work in in a in one world trade so mm -hmm. another very tall building oh my gosh that's so cool uh, and yeah on super windy days it's so so loud the elevators you can hear the howl all the way in yeah 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 howling oh, wow. yeah the you're right because i hear it too it's it sounds like it was this like distraught animal <laughs> but then like yeah. when i'm in the apartment it's like a High pitch, never ending opera singer, <laughs> like at like a lady screaming at such a high pitch that you yeah. think it's gonna break the glass. Yeah. But I swear, I, like I felt it, and I remember one time my mom was over and I told her, I said, "Do you feel the building move?" She's like, "No," and I was like, "I was it's like, moving. I was she like, she like, she was like, sweetie, buildings cannot move." And I'm like, no, "I swear move. to God, it's either that or her earthquake." Yeah, absolutely. So then move. I thought it was crazy until somebody else mentioned it, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I think." I'm not that crazy then. No, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm saying you're, you're not that crazy. They but absolutely it's so move. Cool. Like it fascinates me that an architecture like can withstand that. Like it's wow. Yeah. I don't know. I just but the, yeah, there's like a know? level of like there's tolerances and there's like yeah. code limits and like you know we all try to like work within like what you're like talking about is yeah. deflection, right? Uh, so yeah, you try to well, work that's, it I that. just like find it so fascinating. Because I'm so like bad at math, so like sometimes like <laughs> normal things would be so fascinating to me and I appreciate it so much. And then <laughs> like really crazy, obnoxious, you know, interesting things, I'm like, yeah, that's all right, you know? It's like the complete opposite, depending on what I'm looking at. It doesn't really matter, so long as you're interested in something. That's true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and another thing, do you have like, right now at the moment like what are you working on so i've been like working on this series i don't know i have i have two kind of concurrent series that are going on right now like the one that i started on was uh what i'm calling ghost bodies and that was very much like inspired by like what's happening you know covid i got really dark and was thinking about like oh all this like these impressions right um and which is like i think you've seen in some of the paintings like that they have the geometric shapes but the shapes are not on the, on the canvas. It's mm -hmm. like there's a whitewash that's like yeah, it's, over. They're kind of like floating in a yeah. way. It seems like it. Yeah. So those are kind of like those. That's the ghost body series, and then the New Year series. The newer series is like uh, it's like the new moon and full moon series, and I think that's like more. I've just got obsessed with like not even phases of the moon, but just like what you could do with the, with a circle, like a really basic oh. circle, and how you could make it. Like, uh, like change the shape super and bring complex. it in 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know? Wow. Um, so taking that complexity and I guess adding some astrological 
Ooh, like fun, theory. like fun theories on top of it, but really it's more about like just kind of exploring oh, what that. you can do with a yeah. circle on a square canvas. And since like some of your work, um, your artwork is has like geometrical shapes, do you use like some tools that you use in your everyday to make like what do you call um the plans? And yeah, the plans. plans. Yeah, so I actually use like a lot of my drafting tools that I had gotten when I was in college. Oh wow! Because we were hand drafting. Yeah. I mean, we still have like the computer, but like most of our training. Do you, which, which one do you prefer? I mean, if I'm making a beautiful drawing, mm -hmm. hand drafting, but that takes a lot of time and energy yeah. and like I would probably figure it out on a computer first Yeah. or like, you know, uh, but yeah, for art, I'm using all of those drafting tools wow. again because really cool. I had them. So, and do you like, because I feel like by now your your body has like a muscle memory in a way, like how to mm -hmm. operate the rulers or whichever yeah. tool you're using. Like when you're creating art, do you kind of find yourself kind of like, wait a minute, this is not the standard drawing. I have to like, you know, like you kind of like yeah. consciously have to be like, no, like left hand, stop doing this. Yeah. You know, muscle memory. I want it like this. Is that? No, you you're find right. yourself doing that? You're right. Like, yeah, with some of the tools I'm constantly, like, I, you know, I, uh, there's like a triangle kind of angle square tool that I use that, you know, for drafting, you always want to keep that 90 degree kind of on yeah. the left, lower <laughs> left. But now for, uh, the idea is that I'm using a tool that I'm very used to using in one way in a completely different way mm -hmm. for the art. So I don't know if I'm actually using them correctly at this point, but I'm using them for art and that's all that really matters. That's all that I matters, right? I get I like the that. result I want. I like that. And do you see like for the future, do you mm -hmm. think of yourself like trying thinking of new things, like new mediums, maybe like a sculpture or like I don't know, like functional living sculpture or furniture? I, I could see myself doing yeah. that. Um you know where the time energy and devotion goes mm -hmm. for that yeah it's questionable you know um but uh definitely a potential yeah i, feel like I don't want to ever rule anything out yes yeah, tell that's that's the beauty right? with art yeah and i love when architects do furniture oh my god i'm like i'm obsessed <laughs> well we're obsessed with furniture <laughs> it's just like it's like functional but so artistic and the design is flawless it's like it's like you see you're like oh, i never thought about it like that like yeah. oh wow this is genius yeah you know i really really love that i have a weird obsession with lighting oh my god really yeah so like, like I with would, the lights and stuff yeah with like like with chandeliers i am obsessed with them wow. like every because they could be super simple or super yeah. complex and they're beautiful so that might be where i start if i ever were to where to do like a product line. That's so cool. Because you can also like change the shape of space with just light. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's right? so many. Uh, Sorry, my phone almost fell out of my eye. Because <laughs> there's so, yeah, there's so, like for example, I'm not going to lie, but I love the actual product, like lightning fixtures more than the actual light. I know some people are like vice versa. You know what I mean? Once yeah. I have like a beautiful, Fixture. fixture then I'm like okay now it's time to get the light does it dim does it do this does it do that can I change color you know what I mean mm -hmm. like if mm -hmm. I could sacrifice my sanity for a beautiful functional light and like kind of give up on the actual lighting you know what I mean <laughs> okay. well for me like all <laughs> of those things are important opposite. I need all of them <laughs> some people are the opposite yeah <laughs> like I remember I made this I tried to do and I didn't know that much about electricity so I, I couldn't I didn't know how to like hook things up so I just like bought this huge lamp and broke it and took the huge cord and built like a huge lightning fixture that was supposed to be over the couch but then I didn't do it properly the thing was so heavy and I covered so much of the surrounding light but I was like oh my gosh this light is so beautiful <laughs> like I was like I'm not good enough in this light not so it's a sculpture <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's what everyone says it's like a light emitting exactly. sculpture it's exactly. not a lighting fixture at that point <laughs> and then and then one point and then I forget I forget what happened like if I was gifted like a, I think it was gifted like those um, LED sunrise lights oh yeah those are cool you know those are cool yeah, right? and then I yeah. turned it on and I said I've been living like a caveman I've been living in the dark <laughs> I cannot put up with this anymore <laughs> and I remember trying to like open it on a, but it couldn't work it was just like so tightly created I was like let me just let this out I can't deal with it 
Yeah. Okay. But I did use like the base for another another Something sculpture. Else. Yeah. Okay. But I'm like I will I will sacrifice for a good design. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. But some people are like you're crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we were talking about inspiration mm -hmm. earlier, and I really liked um, your perspective. Um, we talked about the art studio, how yeah. having a space is so crucial. As previous guest, previous guest and myself agree, it really cha it's like changes and transforms your work completely and your outlook. Right. Um, have you actually, always have you always been a studio artist? Like no, like early early in my career, I would use my kitchen table. <laughs> I'm okay. not gonna lie. And it was like, I don't know, like, I feel like I, I created, like, amazing art during that time, but it was also so difficult because it's, like, New York City. It's not a big apartment, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, okay, you're, so once I get there, I go sacrificing for art. Right. I'm sacrificing having, like, a proper meal on a table and, like, sitting on the sofa or my bed and, like, having a full, you know, meal with myself in the TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel there's, like, it's very difficult for me when you don't have an art studio to show your brain off and go back to normal life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because my brain to, yeah. will stay there the whole time. Like if I'm yeah. doing laundry, vacuuming, cooking, whatever I'm doing, and it's overwhelming almost, yeah. you know? Yeah. But having that space where you can like leave, leave everything as is. You don't have to worry about, oh, am I going to... No, you just turn the lights off and leave. I think it's like, it's a luxury. It really is. It really is. <laughs> like really you really, is. you really have to not have that to appreciate having it because it's like it really puts like puts me in a good mood because I'm always like oh, I'm so tired I'm like but it could be worse that could be hell. to like put everything away at three in the morning and get ready for this and that yeah it's amazing it's like yeah, the, the idea feeling. of having people over yeah. <laughs> into your place yeah is scary when you have oh my shit gosh. literally yeah. everywhere because you've painted all yeah. night <laughs> are you like when you're working are you kind of like making a mess or do you oh I am a huge mess yeah oh my god me too I only clean up for like one I know yeah there's gonna be people in there or I actually am disgusted by how messy yeah. I've gotten or you can't find anything you're like okay that's it I yeah know. yeah, yeah. I'm done. no but like yeah. my studio space is a complete wreck oh I mean god. I'm not sure I have those little curtains I think everybody yeah. put the curtains up yeah I love those like windows. I love uh -huh. the windows into the studio. I kind of feel like a little fish when yeah. like when there's open houses and then, yeah. Um, so I keep that open during then. But like, yeah, when I'm like working, it's kind of a yeah. I like the privacy. It's kind of a mess. So I'm kind but of also like, yeah. But also like, if you're working and you're so much in the zone, like when people want to talk to you, yeah. It to like I love talking to people and stuff, but like yeah. it to like I will lose that idea forever. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean. Like it will be gone. Like I cannot. It doesn't matter how much meditation and focusing I do. It's yeah, it's like it's almost like a like an iCloud collective that we all share. And I, <laughs> have you had that happen? Like when you think of idea, you're like, oh, this is not a very good idea. And like three months later, you see in a show in a store being sold commercial. You see your idea. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I really thought it was so whack, but this is so cool and so well executed. Yeah. Do you ever have that feeling? Oh, all the time. All the time, right? I thought I knew I was a crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. But that also goes back to like, yeah, the inspiration. Right, like we're all inspired by lots of different things. Yeah. So like, I don't know if there's anything truly original, but like, yeah, it's like what you do with it, right? That makes it your yeah. the original part. That's so funny you say that because I bought when I was in Amsterdam, I got this like 500 um, cell portrait of like a photo book of okay. portraits of different artists they did of themselves, and it goes to like the first painting ever until like right this year, right? Mm -hmm. And, well, right last year, and then you see as you go back in time, like um, like Basquiat did, like a kind of like a version of Marie Antoinette, and then mm -hmm. the painter of Marie Antoinette did one like a like ten, fifteen queens before her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's I remember thinking I was like, my God, everything is inspired by everything. But I thought it was just like, oh, that's normal. But now that like talking to you now, you're like, I'm like, wow, everything re really is not original. Yeah, I mean, you can you can reference other people's yeah. work and things like that, and I think that's completely valid. I just have a hard time believing yeah. that there's true inspiration from one specific source. Yeah, that's so interesting. Really, yeah. it reminds me a lot of. Do you know that Arthur Elizabeth Gilbert? I think that's her name. She did E Pray Love. Okay. So she did like a beautiful. I actually heard this TED talk before I knew who she was, but it, she says something amazing. She said, "I think it was like during Roman or Persian Empire, mm -hmm. they believe like culturally that all artists and writers." They had like a spirit in their studio, right? And that would keep the artists back then from killing themselves if they did something bad. But then also 
kept their ego in check if they did something very good because they believe that spirit own 50% credit to whatever the artist did. Oh, wow. So the art, okay. I, and I get goosebumps because I'm like, this is so cool. And she said how back then they thought if an artist did something bad, it was like, well, it's not really their fault because, you know, it's 50% their fault. They try. But if <laughs> they did something amazing, it's like, oh, you can't take all the credit. You're not a genius. You're just <laughs> really good at what you do. Yeah. And I remember, and then That's she went on. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It, like, really like explains that. a lot, especially, like, kind of originality of reference. And I remember she ref she she said how she kind of referenced that in her work where when she had like a writer's block she would show up to her like writing studio mm -hmm. and then she started like talking to the spirit and was like hey I'm showing up I'm doing what I have to do you have to do Why your part you now do you ever have like trouble with like inspiration or oh for sure yeah, yeah there are days when I'm like literally like you just show up and nothing gets done you're just oh yeah like, no I sit, yeah, yeah. I sit there I I think about things I kind of sketch i do yeah. sketch a little bit in my in my notebook and sometimes what i really don't know what to do all i do is like you know color with color palettes and try to figure out like that yeah. like where i might want to go with a piece one day later so um but yeah no it's like so definitely cool. time that i and do you feel like i don't know like disappointed or annoyed that nothing's getting done like i would get very very angry at myself yeah. Yes and no, because I also recognize that, like, right, uh, you know, um, the time is limited yeah. and the energy is limited. Um, and so if it doesn't get done, at least I'm down there. At least Absolutely. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. At least I'm devoting some of that yeah. energy. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I think I'm most, like, you know, disappointed at myself when, like, you know, uh, it's not even disappointment. It's like when I like when I'm in the middle of a piece and I don't know where it's going mm -hmm. and I don't like how it's looking, uh, but I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of it's in like, like that. What if? Like yeah. What's next? I'm I don't in that know. like stuck yeah. mode. Like there's a piece I've been working on for. I started painting it in like 2021 and it's still not oh done. Oh my gosh. And I it's been on the wall. It's been on the floor. I putzed with it a little bit. I I did a couple of time yeah. lapses on it, but like. It's just so challenging for me, and mm. I don't know where it's going to go. But it can be frustrating. It's a little bit. super frustrating, yeah. and it's also like I kind of think it's ugly, but I know it's not really. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um. So it's just like I, I'm in a in a spot with it, and it, it, we're just oh having gosh. a longer oh relationship than like, the rest I'm, of the paintings. Right <laughs> now, I'm exactly like that. But before, it used to like frustrate me so much. But now it kind of like what do they what do you say in English that expression silver lining that's like when you yeah, yeah. Finding the silver but now like honestly I don't know if you ever seen my studio I have to show you one day but it's like fully organized everything's labeled because now whenever I get those days I'm like it's time to clean I pull out my vacuum okay so I pull that's my you're, you're I start cleaner as a everything. procrastinator yeah yes, like I do the same I try I, I forget thing. who told me this but they're like yeah. whatever you're afraid of to do like if you're like uh, procrastinating on something mm -hmm. do that thing first and then everything else will seem so like boring and easy to do and one day I, you know i tried that i forgot i had to do, like apply for my citizenship i remember okay and i was like putting it off putting it off and like my i think my green card was gonna expire and i was like oh my gosh like it's like come on get it together and i remember i did that and then everything else i had to do like whatever was like applications this or that poof, super easy so okay. now i use like that time like when i feel frustrated Instead of like getting mad and grumpy and angry, I'm just like, it's time to clean. So whenever you hear like a vacuum noise <laughs> and the Swiffer noise, like, mm, you already know, like, it's a, it's not a good day, but I made it a great day. Now, that's when I know I can like printer. just go in and be like, what are you doing? Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's like the best, like Let's being able it. to do that. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. No, I get that though. I, I clean as a procrastination method or... It also just feels really nice to like oh God, reset yeah. mentally yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the cleaning happens. I'm gonna say the deep cleaning in the studio happens quarterly. I gotta really be. It's gonna be a real mess in there for me to. <laughs> but a good a good mess <laughs> is really good. Yeah. And then I'm or obsessed. or if we're gonna have like. The oh yeah, like the and open I say, studios. And I don't yeah. want anybody to trip and fall. Yeah. Trip and fall I know that's always like a warning. Yeah. That's that's a no go. Yeah. Um, talking about messy studios, I think it was I because like I'm obsessed with photo books and I love like oh. having a glass of wine and just sitting there for like two three hours and not even reading, just looking at every detail of the picture. 
and I saw a picture of, I think it was like Francis Beacon's okay. studio. If I'm correct, it was him or another German artist. I can never pronounce his name correctly, but um, he has a lot of art archive that he started but never finished. But they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it, like for the unknown eye, you think it's finished and that's like the target, but it wasn't. But his studio, like Francis Bacon's studio, I think was so messy. Like mm -hmm. you didn't even see the floor. You just saw, it's like trash. Like you would like regret drawing stuff and just throw it and climb on top. And I thought, wow, that's like that's fun. That chaos goes into his pain and it yeah. comes out and then goes. There. It's like, I mean, I couldn't do that because I go like crazy if I can't find something. Like you know, if I'm in the middle of painting something, I need to find that cerulean blue right now. Right. I can't. I cannot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like the idea will leave my body. Yeah. Do you find yourself like that too? Oh yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like I'm constantly like digging into like my little paint palette and trying to figure out what I'm what I'm gonna do. But some pe sometimes you know, uh, yeah. I can plan a little bit ahead and be like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna do just this bit on five or six paintings, right? Yeah. Like just this step in the process yeah. of five or six paintings. And that sometimes works. And sometimes, sometimes you get sucked in, you're like doing amazing. Sometimes you're like, oh my God, why uh, why yeah. did I use this red? Why not like a red oxide oh, or like the yeah. brownish one? And I have another question. Like, do you ever paint something that you, like when you finish, you're like, this is literally the worst thing I've ever did. Like, what Absolutely. was I thinking? And then somebody sees it. Yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is the most beautiful, and you're like, are you, oh. and you're like, are you being nice to me right now? Like, what is going on? Um, you know, I haven't shown much of my work, so uh -huh. people, if you've been into my studio, those are only the people who are, are seeing most of my work. Um, so I'm sure that'll happen one day. Yeah. But I hate a lot of the stuff yeah. I make, and I haven't gotten validation on it yet. It doesn't dissuade me at all. Mm. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. When you have something that, let's say, like you don't particularly love do you try to go back and paint it or do you I just usually it? use it like as a testing like you know like then I start testing other things on that painting oh okay. like if I'm trying a new technique or you know like I've been you know using like a modeling clay gel mixture yeah. to kind of get some raised uh texture like, yeah raised yeah. texture and I've been like piping it on like oh, a cake wow. um I use those pieces that's for very that. cool and do you, do you think like become, that piece will become its own piece? I mean, if somebody wants to buy it, you know, more <laughs> than welcome. I, I will take the money, it yeah. will fund the studio and other pieces, so sure. I'll keep the process going, yeah. the circle of life. <laughs> if somebody wants that, great. Yes. You know, I'm actually also doing like this other series that is just like, because I paint on the wall and because I put plastic on the wall, uh -huh. the paint that dries puddles uh -huh. at the at the bottom of the plastic and actually on some of the plastic and I've been like taking that and transferring it onto the canvas oh, wow. sometimes. Like so, peeling it? Yeah, like I'll, I'll, oh, wow. I'll like fully transfer what has dried on the plastic onto a canvas that I've like, just so painted cool. black. I love that. And then I'll like that. mess with it. So I'm calling those like byproducts. And those That's are like amazing. they're not planned, unintended pieces, but I think are beautiful and they're chaotic. Uh Oh my gosh, there's nothing best than like, not just being able to recycle something. Yeah. But like having that something turn out amazing. Yeah, they look beautiful. Because like, you feel amazing because you're like, oh my god, this I'm recycling something. It's, no, you know what I mean? Like, it's not. But I'm not going to take any credit for them. Like, I mean, I'll oh, sign my name on them yeah, yeah. and I'll sell them again. Yeah. I will be that salesperson. Yeah. But like, it's a byproduct. Let's be real. That's it was not an intentional piece. I just curated the crap. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crazy question out there. Where do you see yourself in like five to ten years? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's kind of crazy question. I honestly don't know, and I kind of like that. You no, know, no. Uh, I like that it's kind of like my pieces. It's a little chaotic. You got to try to control it. I don't know really where I'm going to be, right? Like, hopefully still architecting. Yes. Right? Like, that's still... I mean, I worked a lot. Hopefully you trademark that word by yeah, then. Yeah, like... <laughs> get all right if it's not them. already yeah. trademarked. But, like, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a weird, like, sea change for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm kind of, like, experiencing, like, lots of new different things. Um, so it seems a little open-ended for me to, like, really consider five to ten years. Hopefully, actually selling my art. Yeah. Hopefully, actually showing it by that yeah. point. I'm a lazy bee. 
I haven't set up my website. I haven't really set up Don't any worry, like promotional little materials. By little. Instagram is basically all yeah. like Instagramming. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of artists just like use Instagram as it. Yeah. like that's it. That's where you know? you're gonna see my work, right? Like yeah. you come into my studio, you follow me on Instagram. Either so Instagram or studio visit. Pick one of the two. Right, Point. and then you know, and then I'll sell you a piece. But hopefully within five to ten yeah. years, I at least get the basics down. Yeah. No, that's. <laughs> I don't think it's that complicated because you're so like. So disciplined, like you seem like you think of something. You probably don't see it, but like from the outside in. I mean, yeah, outside in. Like you know, like I find it amazing that, as you said, like you started the painting a little bit before COVID, mm -hmm. and like you're doing, as you say, like the like from your time lapse on your Instagram, I saw like the drips, the geometric shapes, and then you do the byproduct where the mm -hmm. paint gets peeled off and you put it in the canvas. I mean, in such a short amount of time, that's like people are like afraid to do take such a risk you know people are more like oh let me paint a beautiful renaissance painting oh, yeah, that's so no. gorgeous I just know you I just don't have the skill in. for that either yeah. like <laughs> if I had the skill maybe I'd do that right yeah. like it would be great but no I don't have that I know enough about chaos mm -hmm. and I know enough about color and you combine yeah. the two perfectly. yeah like, <laughs> slam them together and exactly. put them on a canvas that's exactly. all exactly oh my gosh I love that no but yeah I mean you gotta give us 2023 resolution give yourself credit for credit is due. I will. I will. I like that. Yeah. That's my resolution too. Like, you know, even from like talking to people mm -hmm. that I had a few guests so far, you, you get to like self reflect during the episode sometimes. And one thing like I learned this year so far, just from like talking to different artists and their, you know, how they think, how they view the world, it's like I never, and I learned that about myself. And today I had a guest that I told them, I said, you have to learn to give yourself credit for the small things and not just the big things. Yeah, that's fair. And I just learned that. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. me, that's like, you know, because to me, like, I always love, to me, it's not like working hard and getting what I want. To me, it's like that journey. Right. That ambitious journey. Yeah. Because then I'll work, like, really hard. I'll get what I want. I'm like, and I don't even, like, touch it. Like, it could be a car. Like, I'll, I'll bust my ass, I'll bust my butt, and I'll try to, like, work as hard as I can. And then when I get the car, I'll probably want to go in it. To me, it's like the next challenge. What is the next challenge? You right. know what I mean? right. That made me realize just talking with like different people, like it's that thrill. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? You know what I mean? So right, yeah, so the give yourself driving seems to be the exactly. driving force rather than the actual thing you're driving. Exactly, towards. I think that's yeah. a very poisonous. I know it's yeah. a very bad trait I have, and to give yourself um, to give yourself like, hey, like that's like you got out of bed. That's a pretty big deal. A lot of people don't. Not not just oh, like true, it's life true. or death, but like you know, like depression I mean, is a big thing too. Legit. You know, I know, like I simple things. We've been through a pandemic. The exactly. Whole world has. It's, been a, it's a shit show. Like being able to give somebody a hug, like running into the oh, street, so nice. no restriction, like this crazy world and humans, like us, we're crazy species in this world. Wild. Wild, 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 wild. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up to me. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Yeah. I beg you right now. You have to make a TikTok. I have like to make TikTok? a TikTok? Do you have TikTok? I don't have TikTok. Oh, my God. Wait, so you never watch TikTok for fun? I wa Okay, I'm like, I watch TikTok videos on Instagram. No, no. Is that... Is Everybody that on TikTok makes fun of people that because, like, you, <laughs> you see, like, two, three months later. Oh. Because by the time it, people publish it and it starts to go viral, like, you know, and it gets to you, like, through the algorithm... But, right, like, for example, the okay. whole Riri in the Super Bowl, like, yeah. the, the Rude Boy dance, where yeah. they do that, that, that's been crazy. People are like, and I find myself a lot, like, in my studio sometimes, like, saying things like TikTok language, and I'm like, <laughs> if people can see me right now, they're going to think I'm crazy talking to myself. It's okay. I mean, I talk to myself yeah. without TikTok, so I think oh you're Oh, my fine. gosh. I do it all the time. <laughs> do you, like, like, when you talk to yourself, is it, like, regards to art or just, like, everyday life or? Sometimes it's just, like, cheering myself on. Like, yeah, yeah I'm going to do this. I'm going to get oh you. Oh, my gosh. You red paint, you know, next, like. Oh my gosh, that's, that's genius. I mean, and yeah. You know what I do? I what? I do it with AirPods. It looks like I'm in a full meeting conversation. Oh, yeah. And like the more overwhelming I get, like when I had a show December, like last month, December, January, mm -hmm. and it was kind of decided like last minute, let me do like 10 new painting. I don't know what I was thinking, but I agreed to it. And then I remember feeling so overwhelmed and things were taking so long to dry because I use very heavy textures. Mm -hmm. And I remember every day walking in 150 
you got this. Like, come on, like, you know, you just got to do this. You, you hang those up on the shelf. Those are dry. You work on the next set, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And, like, I'm talking. And I could see people are like, wow, this kid really got his stuff together. Like, he's, he's, like, he's this walking is a whole meeting. meeting. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, congratulations. And I have, like, but you have the clothes. AirPods in. Like, are you listening to music? No, I have Anti- nothing. I oh, even you have just them do turned it. off. Okay. I have my Bluetooth turned off because I don't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm just, like, having a full conversation. Because when I started. You embrace that craziness. It's okay. I know. It's okay, we live. <laughs> I, you know, I would, but I don't want to be like one of those leaders on TikTok. Be like, guys, I was just like walking up to this guy's office. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh my gosh. It's okay. You know, sometimes I just think of like, okay, well, maybe people will just think like she's really into like acting. Yeah. You know, she's like. She's a music, method actress. She's a method actress. <laughs> you never know. Like, she's just but like. But honestly, like the older I get, the less part. I care. And it's true. Yeah, like, no, it doesn't you, matter. As a kid, like you hear people like grown ups say, they're like, what are you talking about? That's so embarrassing, mom. Why are you doing that? Now oh, I'm just yeah. like, whatever. Well, my mom still embarrasses me, but like, whatever. that's a whole Mine too thing. sometimes. That's, that's, just being that's a like, mom. yeah. <laughs> but like, who cares? And that's so much yeah. fun. They're like, caring and like, you know, life's so short. And that's yeah. the beauty. Art. Talk to yourself. Exactly. Talk to yourself. If it makes you feel better. Go ahead, be your own therapist. Exactly. Do be the byproduct art. Peel the paint. <laughs> Peel the band-aid and just go on with it. Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, but I'm excited. Like, this is our first podcast. This is the first time we meet, finally. Yeah. Like, a few months, let's say, like, winter time or fall time when we catch up again. Yeah, that'd be for fun. For the podcast, just, like, how much stuff we've done. And I, I'm telling you, like, I'm already seeing, like, a website check. TikTok check, <laughs> viral check. I I love your enthusiasm and I'm all about it. No, I really that, that's how I get like stuff done. Like I'll, I'm like, I remember my mom always telling me she's like she's you're too imaginative, imagine, imagine, how do you imaginative, that? imaginative. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> English subtitle yes, I'm sorry. But um, like I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. Then I'll like try to execute it, and then like halfway I'm like. Why did I think I could do this? Mm. Like, it would be like the craziest thing. Like, podcast. I'm like, oh, this is going to be hard. Boom. You know what I mean? Now it's going to be, I don't know. Who, I don't know. Who knows? May, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not we'll even see what say. happens. It's, who knows? It's but be cool. when we get back again, yeah. well, let's hopefully, Check inshallah, in. that this, we're like on the third, fourth season by then. And then we catch up and we see, and like, we get to, until time, until we're all of our time on this earth, we could be like, Maybe like twenty years from now, I'll be like in a different, like in Europe. Oh my god! Like girl, imagine like I'm in Italy or in France, and we catch up. We take the train. Oh I, my gosh! Can you believe when I saw that would this? be really fun? Yeah. let's do it. Let's That'll just really like plan cool. for it. Twenty years from now, and I'd be we'll like, take what a did train. You, do? you know, I just build this, build that, did that. Yeah. This. I TV. built my art studio in this yeah. like, sky tower. Ooh, get oh. fancy! I <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my god, that would be like sick to have an art studio like in the top. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that. I do know why they don't do that, but like... Budget. (laughs) Budget. I want somebody to pay for that. Yeah, they're like, you have the garage. Yeah. (laughs) The basement. <laughs> you think it's yeah. pretty good for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm very, I'm so happy you came. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thanks on the for having me. It was really fun. Um, I'm very excited. But let's just do our plugins. Let's. Okay. You know. So Instagram, it's Zara Paints. Zara Paints. But Zara with a T. So spell, spell the whole thing just so people know. Z A R A Paints. Perfect. And we can sell your artwork there. Yeah. Somebody wants to do a commission or. DM you for yeah, a specific yeah, painting. Just yeah. do, go ahead. You go you ahead and DM me if you want a commission. Exactly. I'm not going to guarantee any timelines because exactly. I'm a busy woman, but, you know, I'll work on it. You can even set up a studio tour yeah. visit, too. It's yeah. all good. Come meet me first. Yes. Increase welcome, always. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you again, and I'm so excited for, for our future me. thing. Yeah. Well, well, I'm excited now for this episode. But also there. for 20 years I'm also years excited to catch you. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Mashallah, inshallah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my.